Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Road to TCG World 2017. Now today was supposed to be a TCG Pokedex day but I feel like we still should keep exploring um, Guardians Rising. Especially with Seattle Regionals coming up very very soon. Now I don't know what to do next week. I feel like we've covered a lot of a lot of decks. A lot a lot of decks. I feel like we should maybe re-explore some of them like Sylvian. Um, because the videos definitely didn't do them justice and the list might have been or was definitely suboptimal So let me know in the comments what you would like to what you would like me to do next week um, I mean I could go on with brand new decks like new creative decks, but I feel like it could be It could be worth exploring some some of the decks once again simply because they're so new I'm still getting used to them and there are just so many ways to to play the decks. But anyways, today is Trevenant Garbodor um, turn. Now, why Trevenant Garbodor? You might have seen in the previous videos if you've been watching how I keep getting demolished by both of them. Uh, <laughs> basically, it comes down to Garbodor makes you think twice about playing your item cards down like super fast unless you absolutely need to. And Trevenant punishes you for that, along with punishing uh, supporter clumps, stadium clumps, things like that. So the synergy right there is really good. Um, the fact that Trevenant needs DC, Carpenter needs only psychic energy. To be using Trevenant break, but I feel like um, it's just too slow and space is so valuable and so tight in the deck that you really don't um, don't need to to include it. Maybe the extra 20 HP could make a difference somewhere down the line, but at this point in time I really don't think it will. So let's take a look, a quick look at the deck list. We have our 4-3-1 uh, Garbodor lineup. Now I'm not entirely sure if using this Trubbish is still the best idea. Um, there is merit to the other Trubbish, but I feel like against Sylveon this Trubbish seems really good. Um, Trevenant deals 30 damage for every trainer in your opponent's hand which is great Garbodor deals 20 damage for every item card in opponent's discard pile as we've seen um, like we've featured Garbodor decks and Trevenant decks in the past week or two but not before um, not together now we have two Lele and one Shaman I feel my I feel I see myself using Shaman less and less as time goes on it's just bench space is at a premium and being able to find Lele for Bridget, Lele for Lysander, Lele for Hex, Lele for N, all of those things are really, really good. Um, I've, I've also been toying, and you saw in the video yesterday, I believe, um, reducing the count of Verse Seeker and increasing the count of Lysander, simply because um, Lele can't search for Verse Seeker, Lele can only search for Lysander. Usually late game uh, late game versus seekers are always going towards Lysander and on their item lock uh, such as well on their item on their Valplum's item lock Lysander is super super valuable so that's why I'm considering it. Um, so our supporter lineup is four Sycamore, three and three Lysander, one Hex and one Bridget. I thought a lot about Kukui, but I feel like since your damage output is already um, viable. I don't know how much 20 extra damage will go um, towards making a difference. We have 4 Seeker, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Floatstone, 3 um, Choice Band, 2 Field Blower. I really like Field Blower. I feel like it should be a 2 of in any deck. 1 just doesn't seem to be enough. And 1 Super Road, 1 Rescue Stretcher, and 1 Level Ball. Now, there are a lot of things you could toy with the deck. Um, 4 DC, 4 Psychic, you could have more energy, you could maybe have less energy. Um, one super Road and one rescue stretcher because we might need to re uh, to reuse energy. We also have Lele as a, an alternate attacker. The deck has a lot of options. It it seems very versatile and it doesn't have the the pressure from Taurus, but it does have Trevenant and Trevenant can put on some early pressure. So let's jump into the ladder and see how we fare with the Trevenant Carburetor deck now. We haven't been drawing too well in the past few videos, and hopefully today today works out just a little bit better. 
Um, I've been dead drawing a lot despite like running Lele, like increased consistency cards such as Lele, such as Shimin, um, more supporter cards, etc. Okay. Greninja seems to be making a comeback here, seems to be making a big comeback. And I'm pretty sure this is Greninja. Probably not Nine Tails. Okay, so we start with something that's not Lele and not Shaman, which I am very grateful. And we are going first, which is awesome. Now, I am running the Phantom with Ascension, but there is an argument. Wow, triple Articuno. <laughs> okay. Um, there is an argument to use. Uh, to use the grass type Trevenant, I mean the grass type Phantom, simply because you want to try and like take advantage of opposing Forest of Giant Plants. There is that argument. Um, I don't know, being able to ascension into Trevenant on turn one is also pretty nice against any non Forest of Giant Plants deck. Now, uh, wow, this is an Articuno Artillery deck, it seems like. Uh, we do get end. Hopefully we won't dead draw off of this N, but it's not unlikely given how we've been drawing lately. We actually draw even better than before, and we do see a Drampa. Now, what are the odds that my opponent has four trainer cards in his hand? I would say they're pretty high, honestly. Um, I would actually say they're pretty high. I will attach the choice band to the Trevenant. And there's only one item card so far. And there's a victory, okay. So I guess <laughs> that means he did have four. Uh, <laughs> interesting deck by my, by my opponent, interesting concept. Um, the Articuno seems pretty solid, especially because we are seeing a move towards evolutions and therefore low HP basics can be knocked out by, by Articuno quite easily. Um, and you do get the extra prize card. It does involve flips, but you can also run Victini, which I don't believe my opponent was using based on the previous screen, but now we're up against another Psychic Colorless deck, so this is probably the um, the Drampa or Taurus Garbodor version of the deck. So we do get to go first once again. It's not always great because Taurus can take a knockout on turn two. Um, we get an okay hand. Okay hand in terms of we can get something going, but the big issue here is the fact that we're gonna discard a ton of item cards in order to do so, and we really don't want to power up Garbodor immediately. And we do see a Trubbish and an Orang Guru. So I am tempted to play the parallel immediately on turn one. That might limit my opponent. And huh. I really don't want to discard the Trevenant, but I don't want to get a ton of item cards in my discard pile just yet. That would be three. With the Ultra Ball, with the Seeker. And with three, Garbodor is one hit KOing me. But I think I still have to. And we'll go for Lele. And off of Lele, we'll grab an in. I could go Lele Bridget, but then I would rely 100% on Shaman the next turn. So I'd rather just end here. Now my opponent, I'm sure, will be very careful with the amount of item cards he plays next turn, because we do threaten with a Carbodor the, the next turn. But we are actually able to find a Phantom, which is great. Um... I guess I'll attach the Psychic, and I will pass. So now my opponent, like, maybe the threat of Garbodor will be enough to to make him slow down his game, which is never bad. Um, and if he holds onto the card, we can actually deal some significant damage with the Trevenant. Now I did get rid of the Field Blower, there's a Trainer's Mail and there's a Nest Ball about to be used, so that's two item cards which is great. Not great for Trevenant, it is great for Garbodor. And we do see a Trampa immediately. 
So Drampa could be an issue because it does discard my TCE. And there we see a Psychic. Is he going to immediately promote the Drampa? Yeah. That's a pretty safe move simply because he's only used two item cards. So I'd be dealing 40 damage back, which is not too much. Um, I didn't do too much either, so I'm gonna Sycamore away my hand. Another item card in the discard pile, which I'm not too happy about. I do find an Ultra and a Floatstone. Now the issue is, if I retreat into a potential Trevenant, I will... Um, I will I will suffer quite a bit I would say simply because he can just discard my TC and there's no way I one hit KO the Trampa so I'd rather go on the offensive with Carburetor for now um, only dealing 40 damage yes finding a choice band would have been ideal but that's okay because the 80 damage off of the Trampa will not be enough to knock me out he does have the GX attack as well we do see another floatstone, and this is where we might see a retreat into Carbiter into a knockout. So this is where things get really interesting. The the price trade-offs. Oh boy, we do see a rainbow. Are we going to see an N or something? Why did I not bench the Phantom? That's pretty bad. I completely forgot to bench the Phantom. Does he have the Carbiter though? Or is he gonna search for it? Maybe he's debating N or Lysander. No, he goes for an Ultra Ball. Okay. Discarding Altar and N. Interesting. Probably Shaman. No, he goes Garb. Okay. He goes Garb. So he's gonna take the initiative on the KOs. Which seems pretty good. Um, but he does have the Trampa as a liability. One, two, three. Only 60 damage though. So nothing too significant. And unless he has four item cards, my Trevenant will not be able to one hit KO. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I he will be able to knock me out. Okay, unless all his cards are item cards. I'm in a lot of trouble here. I am actually in a lot of trouble. Okay, I do get the Trevenant. Um Perhaps off of this N we can get him to draw 4. But I do find... Okay, this is great. I do find... Oh no, but I don't have energy. Never mind. I don't have energy. So... I have to hope here. That's the only thing I can do. Hope. It's actually the only thing I can do here. So I'll Poltergeist. And we do see... Only two. Wow. Lysander, Drampa, Lily. That's a pretty good anti Trevenant hand. Wow. And my damage is decreased by my own stadium. Wow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Yep. Wow, he chooses to retreat. One, two, only three. Wow. And I have nothing to to say back to this. I literally have nothing. I mean, I can attack with Lele, I guess. We know he has minimum one, maximum two item cards or two trainers. So a follow-up Trevenant would not be a good idea. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have six. So Lele should be able to survive another, another hit. Or a hit, rather. Now I'm dealing 100 plus 30, that's 130, oh, that's 10 short. That is 10 short. I'm gonna be 10 short of the knockout. And yeah, I mean, do I get anything by playing the choice band? Not really. I allow potentially Garbodor to to knock me out with his own choice band. So the price trade-off is not too bad because I have a better field right now. 
but I'm not drawing anything. So I need to find a supporter soon. Either a via seeker. Wow, I've used two via seekers, one sycamore and three N. That's pretty bad. Okay. So he can hit me for 150 because he has a vault zone unless he uses field lore on his own Pokemon and attaches a choice band. He shouldn't be able to knock me out. He actually chooses to knock out the Trevenant, which I am actually okay with. One, two, three. Yep. So being very, very aware of his of his trainer usage. Item usage rather. He will tap Lele for something. Um, three prizes to two, but I don't think that's too bad of a position simply because I can't keep using, I can't keep attacking with Lele. Um, he's gonna take a knockout, then he's probably going to discard my DC. <sighs> this is rough though, this is very rough. He might discard the DC and then attack me. His Garbodor is damaged, so that's a problem. Okay, he's really deciding on his supporter. He goes for Lily. Wow, so no, not even Sycamore. The cards he has in his hand must be very valuable. Okay, so there's a 150 damage. And we top the Casicomore, okay, great. Now, I'm pretty sure Garbodor is gonna be, well, huh. Is Garbodor gonna be the big thing here or is Trevenant? Okay, I'm gonna put back Garb and a Trevenant line actually. Yeah, the DTs are the issue though. DTs are definitely the issue here. Um, floatstone. I guess I might want to prevent, uh, like Oranguru later on. Um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one forty. So a choice went away from a knockout on top of Lele with Garb. Okay, at least I get a KO here. An over KO, but a KO nonetheless. And we find DC and Lele, so a pretty nice follow up. Okay, he promotes Ranguru. With a choice band, he knocks out my Lele without it. Oh, with a choice band on Tramp as well, he knocks out my Lele. So, so my opponent just needs one choice band to really wreak havoc on me. Like to guarantee the game pretty much. There's one super odd. That's only his fourth item. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Never mind, five. So we are at 130 damage on the Drampa. But he needs to play three item cards more. I wonder if he does dig. It might come down to him drawing a psychic energy okay there's a retreat there's a Bridget okay so we are probably yeah okay 20 damage and discards the DC fair enough so I get the 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 floatstone I might want. I could go after Garb. I could go after Oranguru as well. Right? One, two, three, four. No, just five. Okay, so my best play here is probably to knock out his Garb with my Garb. That that way I also remove like the damaged benched Pokemon and therefore And therefore, he, he no longer deals 150 damage. So I'll just go for the trash challenge here. Not attaching the DC might seem like a mistake. Um, okay. An end would be devastating though. We are definitely not end proof at this point in time. 
And we do have outs. Wow, he attaches to Ranguru. What? He attaches to Ranguru, goes into Drampa. Oh. He did that to get the damage on the Ranguru, so he will deal 150 damage. Wow, that's pretty that's pretty neat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six item cards. The only way I can do this if I is if I find my other field blower and a choice band to remove this DCE to remove his DCE. Oh no, because I'm dealing a hundred and something damage. Never mind. Okay, how much is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I can knock out the Oranguru. Grandpa would not be able to deal enough damage, so I need to find a Psychic Energy. And my Carbiter. Carbiter I can search for. Then his Carbiter might just come and knock out my Lately. Um, he has six cards in his hand. They're obviously not all trainer cards. But are there four? Trainer cards, perhaps? I need him to have four. Oh boy, this is so hard. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Lele and the Phantom. Man, my opponent really played this well. Um... The thing is card, but I need the psychic, two psychics, and I'm not gonna draw too many cards. So I'll try to take the risk with Trevenant. I think it's my only my only realistic play here. Can't believe he plays the energy switch thing. That's really crazy. <laughs> I don't know, that seems really crazy to me. Okay, so we have to hope here. Which is never good. And there's a happy face, so I mean, I guess I'll play this just in case. And hopefully force him not, able, not be able to retreat. One, two, three. Wow, man. How does he do it? Only 90 damage. Yikes. <sighs> he immediately has a DC. No, we saw it. <laughs> no surprise there. And he will go berserk. Okay. So now, what do we do? We cry. We actually cry. He has a rainbow energy. And we cannot end and so I guess our play is to no we can't win here we can't deal damage to the bench we no nope. there's nothing I can do here not at one pride card maybe if I had attacked into the trampa hey that was my mistake he had the rainbow energy anyway, so yeah. Man, I use I played against Garbodor Trevenant and it feels unbeatable. And then I play with it and it feels so shaky with the damage and maybe I'm playing against it wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we win the coin flip once again, which is always awesome. And we start Phantom, nice. Okay.
We can Lele for Bridget turn one, which is always a great play. Always a great play. Okay. So we see a Jolteon, Electrode, presumably Tapu Koko deck, right? Okay, but we get our setup going, which is awesome. Now, uh, Garbodor seems really good here. Garbotoxin Garbodor. So I might want to try and just focus on getting that out turn two because that delays Tapu Koko. That delays a ton of things. And this is it for our turn. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to get Shaman next turn. Uh, we see a Max Elixir. Doesn't matter that it goes to Voltor because it'll just be absorbed by Tapu Koko. It'll just be absorbed by Tapu Koko. And we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so 30 damage, nothing to... Okay, so we do find a DC. He does have the stadium immediately. And yeah, I mean, I could lay lay for sick on word, but I think I prefer shaman here. And though it's a bigger, I guess it's a bigger liability to have on the bench. And we get no. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Okay, let's try and get ahead on the price card count, and let's get some information on my opponent. We will Poltergeist, oh, just two. And he has the Coco immediately, wow. And the energy. Oh my gosh. Wow. He has one super, he, he, wow. Okay. So Coco's GX attack deals 50 for all the energy I have. So at least I can neutralize that a little bit. I can pressure him with Lele. And yeah, did he have a way to lie? Yeah, he has a verse seeker and a super. Ad. So my shaman is probably going down plus whatever card he got of his prize cards and the fact that the stadium is out so oh my gosh wow okay 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 this is really bad how 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 four sycamore 3n i used lele i used shaman oh. <laughs> rough seas and that thing wow uh yeah nice timing field blower nice timing okay i'm gonna have to get a ko and try to do something here i will get rid of his stadium but i need to take a knockout here maybe i should have done this the previous turn just knocked out the shaman instead with my own shaman and i had shaman myself it's ridiculous that I have to do this to try and find some price cards to try and actually get myself back into the game. At least I can end the next turn. Well, no, I probably want to see more. One, two, just two item cards. And there's a stadium immediately. What is this? What is this? Wow. Okay. Trevenant has to be the salvation here. Trevenant can actually take a hit thanks to the stadium. We know he has versus he has at least one item in versus seeker. 
So best case scenario, one, two, three, four. Um, we need, yeah, we need five. That's not happening, is it? It's actually not happening. We need to hit that DC first, which we don't even hit. So never mind. We don't hit any energy. <laughs> We actually don't hit any energy. Um, can I shaman still? No, shaman was prized. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. We know he has a Lysander. So hopefully he messes up here. This is pretty ridiculous though. <laughs> he can afford to just heal the 40 damage. How do I not get a single energy? Sky High Claws, he... wait, what? Oh, basic Pokemon, whoops. <laughs> okay, now we know for sure he has... Um, he has a Lysander, so I have to end here, but... My opponent has used literally no cards. So I'm dealing nothing. Yeah. I don't even get energy. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I only play one shaman. What am I talking about? Wow. Man, I'm just I'm not catching a break, am I? <laughs> Excadrill is the play, guys. Excadrill is the play. Excadrill they'll miss. Nothing else is working for me. Wow, we're actually half, half an hour in, and I'm just I'm so tilted that I just I keep playing, I clip, I I keep clicking play, don't I? Okay. I mean, my opponents are playing optimally against a Trevenant Garbodor deck for sure, but they're also drawing the right cards. Like, they could easily be drawing hands like this, you know, where you just have to Sycamore away stuff. Uh, otherwise, you lose. But no, like, oh, my, my opponent had to play one Shaman, he hit one Elixir, and that was it. He didn't need anything else, anything at all. It's just, it's, it's weird. It's honestly very weird. Well, not weird, it's just, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Now we're up against Umbrian, which... Um, okay, do I bridge it here? Let me guess. If it's in there, it is, okay. One second reprised. Um, and that's it. Shaman priced as well. So that's good to know. Um, one seeker. Shaman, one seeker. Two choice bands. Yep. Two choice bands. That's gonna hurt. One psychic and something else. Wow. Two choice bands priced. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Do I want my shaman to be hit? Not really. I don't think I have a choice here. I mean, who do I sacrifice? Trubbish? Yeah, Trubbish. Oh, shaman's not price. Shaman's in my active slot. Oh, I keep... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Things are not going well lately in the videos. And my last League Cup, I want to drop. <laughs> so, it's not only in the League Cups. Okay, we see a Sycamore. Wow. I see a Sycamore. We only see one 
floatstone discarded. Wow. Okay. At least my opponent is not knocking me out this turn. It's just one, and he resists. <laughs> this is really bad, guys. This is actually really bad. And I top deck a card I really don't want to discard. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I generally I don't even know I don't even what do I save my trubbish I guess this is just weird I'm drawing so bad I'm halfway through my deck and I'm drawing so bad. Okay, and hopefully things work out a little bit better from here on out. I mean, I'm gonna lose the Garbodor anyways. There's a Trainer's Mail. Only two item cards. Yeah, the more I try out Garbodor, the worse it seems. Like, my opponent has five cards. There's no way I can knock him out with Trevenant, and there's no way I can knock him out with Garbodor. So I guess I knock him out with, or I try to knock him out with Lele. That's my play here. Um, gonna put back the three Pokemon. And... I think I'm more? Really? It just seems so bad. How do I pressure my opponents with... Yeah. This is really bad. Like, lately, I... Why? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> Okay, energy drive doesn't apply resistance, which is good. That means we 2 it KO Umbrian. He might want to use the GX attack to try and make us whiff, but we have only played one DC, so I believe all four are available. One psychic was prized, but all four DC were here, so and we would end instead of instead of Sycamore, so odds aren't perfect for for the DC. Probably won't get it, but we would have an honest chance to like we would be able to try at least okay there's a DC on the on the EV for a Lysander so who is he going to knock out Trevenant Trubbish Trevenant okay so really afraid of the Trevenant Really afraid of the Trevenant. Now, he has three Darkness Energy attached to his Umbrian active, and there's three Darkness Energy on the bench. So, after this end, it might be difficult for him to find an Umbrian, like a follow up Umbrian, especially if I do this, which I will most certainly be very happy to do. Um, Pseudo Widow stops working. I'm actually gonna attach energy to Lele to pressure more. And I will end my opponent down to four cards, one card less, but he really should be out of of darkness energy. Hopefully this makes him at least try to dig for stuff. Because he's only wow, only two. That's really I mean it's nice for him, it's really bad for me. And there's the energy drive. Okay, so we get a Psychic and a Via Seeker. We do have Lysander in the discard pile, so we can pressure the EV. My opponent actually decides to promote Lele. Interestingly enough, there's a Trainer's Mail. There's a Sycamore, but oh well. I mean, it was four cards. There's a Sycamore. We see, yes, that's what I want to see. We see a Zoroark. We see now one, two, three, four, five, six item cards. That's really good. We do see the Umbrian hit. But 
we can just Lysander up the Umbrian. We actually can just do that. Or, 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 or. Playing Sudo Wudo and Zoroark seems very counterintuitive, <laughs> seriously. It generally seems very counterintuitive. Um, see, the Zoroark scares me just a little bit. But I'm, I'd really rather target the Umbrian. And Zoroark can't just jump in. Um, Zorark would knock me out though. Zorark would certainly knock me out, so... Who do I attach energy? I guess I'll attach to Lele. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. So we get... The first attack off on the Umbrian, which is great. The GX attack, we have minimized its effect. It only discards two energy, so DC and Psychic. We have another Psychic, we have another DC. But we actually see a, a choice band. So my opponent really digging for the... Um, for the Darkness energy. I hope he hits it. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he charged an Umbrian with three Darkness, and then he discarded three Darkness early on. So he got punished for... I mean, I'm guessing that was the only way, or like he could have gotten into the game, um, especially with the first Sycamore. But since I wasn't putting too much pressure either, maybe he could have conserved his energy just a little bit better. I don't know. It was really unfortunate for him to to draw that way. But anyways, that's it for Tron and Val uh, Truman and Carpenter guys. Not too impressed by the deck, honestly. Um, Lele late did. The, most of the work so I'm more impressed by Lele than anything and yeah that's gonna be it from me guys thank you so much for watching please do a like on the video if you can and I will see you guys next week with brand new content and don't forget let me know what you guys want to see what kind of decks okay thank you